Uh, hi, my name is Enda McAvoy. I'm a chef with a huge interest in wild foods. I wanted to see how to um, get birch sap properly out of trees because I've tried over the last few years and um, to varying results. So um, I'd heard about a man called Fred Muller up in Cavan and uh, I decided I wanted to go up and see him and see how to get litres rather than millilitres of uh, birch sap out of trees. Yeah. The, the, birch, the first thing for me is usually the garlic. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, allium, yeah the allium or cinnamon, yeah, the wild yeah. garlic. Yeah. yeah. Normally at this time it would be in flower. Yeah. Flower yeah, buds. Yeah, we start the flower. The, flower anyway. buds are, the buds are just up that time. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the seeds we collect usually right, May. end of May. Yeah. Don't so yeah. bother too much about it because it, if it's in the vinegar, they, yeah, dis yeah. they disintegrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just go. Cool. And they're 10 years to clip on. And you want them at least three, four months in the vinegar anyway. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what we've had mm. three weeks in salt. Yeah. And then another two months the in vinegar. Same way with that pesto. Yeah. I have that pesto in jars. Yeah. It lasts for a year. Yeah. The only thing if I'm putting it in jars, I put about four or five millimeter olive oil that's on top. To keep it safe. If it goes into the cellar at the cellar temperature, yeah. within two weeks, it's the olive oil is like wax and keeps it sealed. Oh really? Yeah. And oh, then okay. you have plenty of lemon juice in there. Yeah, so it's going to keep Which is a preservative. The garlic in itself is yeah, a preservative. Yeah, yeah. So nothing go wrong. But then the next thing is the birch sap then. Because I was interested in it because um, Here's one. Oysters. Yeah. Open them up. Half a teaspoonful of the pesto. Oh yeah. Slice of cheddar. Grill. Cheddar? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> cheddar. But, um, the, yeah, the fishing crowd is a crowd that I'm interested in. Depends which ones. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's coming from across the channel, mm, there is a big percentage there, six in the bus, and the driver pays, French yeah. fishermen. Yeah. I have no problem in spending a bit of money. Oh, you get back there. Yeah, have no problem. <laughs> it's my habit there. Yeah. Anyway, burst up. <laughs> burst up. Um, yeah, it's the first thing that comes up in spring anyway, so that's, yeah. that's uh, What I do is I use small stainless. V's. Okay. How good is like? Angles. Yeah, okay. Huh? And do you make them? Hit them in, point them. Yeah. Sorry, I'll be back in the picture in a second. <laughs> now, these are pretty. Hit that okay, yeah. into the stem at a slight angle. Yeah, okay. Then, get a groove. Don't really cut into the wood, right. only through the grey, hard outer bark. Yeah. Into the fibrous bit because that is where the juice runs. Yeah, okay. That will catch it. So what? It's about half an inch. Yeah, something it's like that. It will, yeah. it'll not do your birch any harm. Yeah, okay. And then make a cross cut about that side, that that long on top in a V with into a chisel, the, with a chisel okay, into yeah. the bark. Yeah, okay. So that it collects here. Okay. Now usually I use them a bit shorter. Yeah. Stick them in, then take a big plastic bottle. Upside down. Yeah, cut the end off. Though. Run that in. Yeah, okay. Into the bottle because in Ireland you have a lot of rain. Yeah. That size, that way. I used to set them up like this. Mm. But you get a lot of rain collecting. Right, okay. This way you have the bottle against the tree nearly. Oh, which is so because into the bottle there. Yes, okay, yeah, 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 I get you. And when you want to empty them once at, uh, every second day, oh, right, okay. you just open her up at the bottom. Oh, that's quite clever. Huh? Yeah. That is um, yeah. Now, then. And where did you come across this then? <sighs> this angle picture? iron, stainless steel, angle iron, and yeah. if you have a well, is this your engineering idea? company, they make that for you, that's no problem. Because most people would use a pipe, you know. Yeah, but with the pipe, I've used the pipe. Yeah. River cottage stories. Yeah, yeah, there you go, yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> so, the but uh, it's not efficient enough. Yeah. I take about a litre from a, a tree, Nine inch diameter a day. So you're fermenting in one tree. of these here? Yeah, about the same. Yeah. The, the, the ginger does the same. I'll let you try that in a minute and yeah. give you the recipe if you like. Uh, well, bottling takes about six months. Yeah, okay. Until you have it clear enough. Yeah, yeah. And then the birch should lie back for at least six, seven months okay. to get fishy. So, good year. Yeah. yeah.